All right, geeks, I can tell you right now, this has won a ton of money. This type of bait has won a ton of money. And I know it gets associated with a certain thing, but I'm gonna show you because we've been fishing it in East Tennessee for years. Big shout out to 3B Outdoors without ever having one of those certain things. Let me show you almost a guaranteed way to catch bass when it's cold. Oh, geeks, we're gonna talk about tight lining. Now, I know a lot of you, when you hear tight lining, you're gonna think about a certain thing that people love or you hate, and there's a lot of this and that about it. But I'm gonna show you how to use this during the winter time that it's going to catch you a ton of fish. And I mean, it is almost guaranteed. You can use it at a pond, you can use it in a lake, you can use it in a river. You don't need electronics to do this. Electronics has kind of taken this a whole different direction. We're gonna talk a little bit about that side of it too. We're gonna to cover everybody in this because we are an equal opportunity fish catching channel around here. We wanna show you guys what you're gonna do from the banks. We're gonna show you guys what you're gonna do from the boat. We're gonna show you with electronics and without, and that is tight lining and all the different facets that come along with it. Let's go. So let's talk about tight lining. Let's talk about the components of tight lining first. We're gonna start out with the head. Now guys, I use a bunch of different heads. One of my favorite, of course, is the angler tungsten head. An eighth ounce, a quarter ounce are my two favorite sizes. These are the Eclipse heads. They work perfectly for this. This is a pulse fish head that I also like a lot. And of course, as always, man, the Domeki head, great little bait, doesn't get hung up on the bottom real bad. I love that little sled on the bottom of it right there. One of the other things that I love to use are Ned heads. These are the Angler Tungsten Ned heads. Now again, remember I said I am gonna use once in a while for me, now you don't have to use this, my forward facing sonar and that, that tungsten shows up a lot better. What I like about the Ned heads is the fact that you can get them in a lot of different colors and they'll match the bait color. All right, let's talk about the baits that we're gonna use on this rig. I always use a straight tail bait on this rig. It's, it's just subtle. And in the coldest of water, this thing gets bit. One of them that I use is always the Damiki. This is the Armor Shad. You know, you can go with the colors you like the best. This is one of my favorite. This is Pro Blue. This is one of my favorites to use. This is the Yum FF Sonar Shad. And this is in the Christy Natural Shad. And believe it or not, guys, just doing this with a Ned rig or a Ned bait. This is one of my favorites from Nico and this is called the Fusion. Now, believe it or not, one of the money baits, you can't beat a gulp minnow. That smell just works so good in the wintertime. Now, this bait you really want to tie a loop knot on, okay? You guys have seen me tie this knot before. Basically, you come up and you double it over. Spin it around about four or five times. Pass it through while trying not to get it hung on everything coming and going. Then you just pull it down tight. And there you've got a little loop knot and that allows that to free swing and then you just cut your tag in. Now, the great thing about the angler tungsten head is it's got this screw lock on there and I love my screw locks. It really keeps most of your baits from sliding up. You might not need too much of it on this. These baits are pretty durable, but I will tell you on the gulp, absolutely. You're gonna want to put some of the Avid Angler Solutions glue on there. Let me screw this up there and I'll show you something. Basically what you wanna do is just put you one drop on there, screw that bait the rest of the way up on there and try not to get it on your fingers. I'm trying my best not to get it on my fingers. Now, something that you may not know is it's actually great for your knot too. So I'm not gonna put any on there because I think I got more on my fingers this time than I do me, but it's gonna hold that bait up there a lot better. Now, one other thing that I love to do, and I'm telling you the best sartreuse markers on the planet is I like to put just a little bit right here, right there. Great little tip, really will get you a few more bites. And that is an Avid Angler Solution marker. By the way, they all come in the kit. You need to check out the kit. You can mount it on a boat, on a kayak. They've got a large kit, a small kit, one that's got a hook sharpener in it. Make sure you check those out. Now, 
Let's talk about rod reel and line for this thing. Hey guys, by the way, make sure you check out Evolve, man. Protect your investment. These things are great. They're neoprene. And I mean to tell you, but you've seen it. You cannot get a hook stuck in these. Great tip protection. Really, really good rod covers. All right, geeks. This is the rod reel and line setup that I have for this. This is my TFO Option Bass. New from TFO these things are incredible. Now I've got this teamed up with a lose speed spin. I think this is a $49 reel, really great reel for the price. The drag and everything on it's great. Now you can see inside there, I've got some pink canine line. Guys, a lot of you guys might laugh at me, but you can see that a lot better than you can see that yellow braid. That's gonna be my main line. And of course I like six pound. I know guys that'll fish it down to four and three pound test i don't have the uh, cojones for that so i'm going to throw it on eight pound today colder it gets though the lower you want to drop this line and the more bites you are going to get this rod is a seven foot medium action fast canine line by the way in case i didn't say it pro 100 fluorocarbon as my leader now let me show you how to fish this bad boy Let's start out with your live scope. Guys, it's pretty simple. This is a live scope killer. I'm not gonna get into a lot of that. So you're gonna cast out to them, let it drop down. You're not gonna let it drop right to them. You're gonna try and throw and hit them right on their head. You're gonna keep it over their head. So there's two places, one type of structure that I love to throw this. Number one is gonna be those 45 degree banks, those sort of channel swing areas, those steeper banks. The other is gonna be a bluff. Let me show you what I like to do with a 45 degree bank and over some brush. One of the things that I love to do is until I know what depth level those fish are at, I wanna 45 these banks, okay? So I'm gonna stay out a little bit longer, a little bit farther off of them. I'm gonna cast out and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shake my rod tip and I'm gonna reel it in real slow. Two things about reeling it in. A, I wanna make sure I'm touching the bottom once in a while. If I'm not feeling myself on the bottom every once in a while, I'm reeling my reel too fast. If I'm touching the bottom all the time, I'm reeling way too slow. You really wanna contour that bank. It is gonna be key. Shaking that rod tip just barely to impart a little bit of shake on that to call those fish up and get them to eat it. I'm telling you guys, this is a go-to technique for me during the winter time. Now let me show you how I fish bluffs with it. When you're fishing this down a bluff, you wanna rub the numbers off the side of the boat. Stay in tight because they're gonna be in those little overhangs down through here. And you're gonna basically do the same exact thing. You're gonna make your cast, barely shaking that rod tip. You'll let it pendulum into you. That's the key. You're letting this bait pendulum in. So Geeks, tight lining is not just for forward-facing sonar, guys. This is a deadly bait, and it's a deadly technique during the wintertime. We've been doing it here in East Tennessee for years. Like I said, though, don't discount that gold minnow. Let me tell you, it's money in the cold weather. Get out and try this. Just adapt it to the type of water, whether it's you know shallower water, deeper water, whatever. Adapt it. Adapt your weight and your bait and get out there and catch some wintertime fish man they'll bite they gotta eat go fishing all right as always questions and comments in the comment section below you geeks know i love the 100 percent watch squad god you're awesome join that 100 percent watch squad help this channel get there guys help me live my dream i appreciate you and who knows once we get there to where i'm out we might even be able to do some fishing together. As always, you geeks, you geeks rock.